Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today, we're going to talk about fragrance that gives compliment. So one of the biggest reasons people have to wear fragrance is to get compliments from others, which is not necessarily a bad reason. I know there's two kind of people. There are those that say that you need to get compliment to wear a fragrance, and there are those that says that you shouldn't buy a fragrance because it gives you compliment. And I think it's kind of both sides are kind of a little bit extremist. Because when you wear fragrance, yes, of course, you need to enjoy it. That's the main thing. But what if you want others to enjoy it? I mean, it's not about getting the compliment. It's about having other people enjoy your fragrance too. I think in one extreme, it's a bit uh, too much asking for people to give you compliments, but at the other extreme, it's a bit selfish to believe that you should be the only one to enjoy the fragrance. I think a lot of people will fall more in the middle like me, but I know there's those two extremes that exist. So what kind of fragrance give compliments? And I would say that it doesn't have anything to do with the fragrance. It's weird said like this, but really, I can give you a good example. One of my most complimented fragrance is Polo by Ralph Lauren. Why is Polo one of my most complimented fragrance? Absolutely not the smell. I think it smells great, but the best way I can describe the smell to you, which might not be really the best way, but the best way to show that it's not a compliment king or compliment magnet, it's the perfume version of an ashtray. Smells great and all, there's aldehyde and another bunch of other notes, oak moss and everything. But it smells like an old school tobacco fragrance, which makes sense for the era it was and all. But nowadays, it's really not the kind of fragrance people would smell and say, wow, I want to smell this. Or at least most people, people that are not in the fragrance world. But still, people that are not from the fragrance world give me compliments when I wear it. I would have other example, some are a letter fragrance, and leather is known to be a note that is really divisive. There are fragrances like Club de Nuit en Semaine that brought me a lot of compliments. And this one is known to be good for compliment, but it's also known to be divisive. It's also the fragrance that give me the most, uh, I don't know, insult or like bad comments on it. Another one that gave me bad comments on it is Fougère Royale by Oupiquin. So if it's not the scent of the fragrance that gives compliment, what is it? Exactly. I think there's many things that makes people give you compliment. Some that you can control, some that you can't. So for the thing that you cannot control, there's the other people, which is a big factor. I mean, you can wear any fragrance, any single fragrance. If you don't meet anyone, no one will compliment it, which is normal. But it depends how many people you're gonna meet. Also, who are these people? If they're a friend, it's easier to say to a friend, hey, what you're wearing smells nice. But if it's a stranger, a lot of people are shy. They don't want to talk to other people. So getting compliment from a stranger is way harder. Not because of fragrance or stuff like that, who you are. It's just for that person to just break the ice and come to you for no reason and give a compliment, which is really rare. And I think one of the biggest things that will have a person give you compliment or not is how that person is confident in himself to go and give a compliment to someone else. This is mostly the biggest, biggest thing that will differentiate with if a person gives a compliment or not. So if you're meeting just a bunch of people that don't have self-confidence, you're not gonna get compliment. If you're meeting a bunch of people that do, you're most likely gonna get more compliments. Now, if that person liked that scent or not will have a big effect, but they need to have the courage to say it if they like it or not. It's still not quite the scent that will be if one specific kind of fragrance will give more compliment. It's really more about if that specific person's taste in line with what you're wearing. Now there are some studies that show that some fragrance ingredients are more or less enjoyed by people. A good example for that is vetiver that is known to have less people than other notes that enjoy it. So if you're wearing a better fragrance, you're gonna have chance to less chance to have compliments. But usually all fragrances are made for purpose of smelling good. So every smell are supposed to be enjoyed by some people. Another thing that's gonna be a big influence 
on if you're getting compliment or not that you can control is how you look, which doesn't have anything to do with the fragrance itself. I'm gonna come with the fragrance afterward, but how you look really, there's nothing specific on how you look. If It's just if you look like someone that's approachable, no matter what it means, and it will be depending to where you are and what you're doing and all of this, if you look someone approachable, you're gonna have more chance that someone will be willing to approach you and give a compliment. And in the end, last thing that matter is the fragrance itself and not the smell. Projection of the fragrance. Like this fragrance here, it smells amazing. I love it. it, smells super good. The projection is horrible. People won't smell, especially not in a colder month. Maybe if you live in Texas or something like that, yeah, people will smell it because it's just super hot and whatever you spray and you will be smelled kilometers around you. But if you live in Canada like me, where it's hotter to be in a fridge than outside for most month of the year. It's not gonna be something that people will smell and if people cannot smell you, they cannot give you compliment. So in the end, the only thing that matter in the fragrance is not the smell itself, is its projection. If people can smell you and longevity, if it can be smelled long enough so you can pick up one person by chance that have the confidence, that think you look approachable and gets that can smell the fragrance and that finally think that it's a fragrance that smells good because that person's personal taste makes him or her believe that your fragrance smells good. So this is what makes people give you compliment about a fragrance, it has nothing to do with the actual smell, it's just outside factors. There's things you can do to raise your chance, but in the end, you need to enjoy your own fragrance. Yes, you need to have other people smell it, but not expect compliments. It's hard for people to give compliments, not for everyone, but for a lot of people. So I think the best way to see it is to get fragrance that you enjoy and just hope people around you will smell and be able to enjoy it too. And if you get a compliment, well, it's good. If you don't, too bad. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, well, like and share. If you agree or disagree, say it in the comment. Tell me what you think about that subject. I know it's a, a big subject in the fragrance community, getting compliments on fragrance. Also, tell me which fragrance do you have that is your most complimented fragrance. I will be interested to see who have a really mainstream fragrance, who have a really weird fragrance or something old school, a niche fragrance. I don't know. So write in the comment which is your most complimented fragrance. So thanks for watching and see you soon.